Shalom, and welcome to the Parak of the Week. This week we are beginning Chapter 2 of Pirkei Avot, a rather long and slightly convoluted teaching of Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi. Rabbi said, What is the right path that a person should choose for themselves? All that brings honor to the one who does it and honor among others. Be as careful with a light mitzvah as with a heavy one, because you do not know the reward of a mitzvah. Think about the loss from doing a mitzvah against its reward, and the reward of a sin against its loss. Be mindful of three things, and you won't come into the hands of sin. Know what is above you, an eye that sees, an ear that hears, and all of your actions written in a book. Rabbi Yehuda Hanasi, who was born in the year 135 CE, is known simply by the title of Rabbi. He is noted as the editor of the Mishnah. He asks us to consider what is the right path for each of us. Each of us has our own path in life, and yet the question we should be asking ourselves is the same. How can we walk in the world in such a way as to be forces for goodness? He suggests that it is the path that is one that we and others will recognize as honorable. It's so easy to rationalize our own behavior so this is an important reminder to reflect on how others will view our actions in order to check our own self-interest. It's one in which we take all of our religious obligations seriously, whether or not we subjectively might think that they are important. There are 248 positive mitzvot and 365 negative, that is, thou shalt not, commandments. We can't do them all. They don't even apply to every single person in every place. But it's a reminder to us to do the right thing in small and large ways. When we have an opportunity to do good, it is always important, even if it just feels like a small thing. An eye, an ear, and a book. While many of us do not take this teaching literally, if we behaved in such a way that shown a record of our actions, we would feel proud that is indeed honorable. Shavuot Tov.